take what you want both night and day. Then re-record, not fade away. Re-record, not fade away. Re-record, not fade away. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm having a quick check of the eccentricity of the video drum on this SL8000 Betamax. Um, when you change a video head on one of these first generation machines, um, you have to, it doesn't just fit in there and, and it's perfectly machined and it and, and it's um, uh, basically aligned. You have to, it actually moves on its spindle and you have to align it and then tighten it down. It's, it's not great. Um, I don't know why Sony couldn't do it. Um, so what I've done, ooh, I need to make sure I get that. Uh, I've taken the top of the drum off, which is two uh, hex bolts here, which hold it on, and these just are there for alignment purposes. Um, so I've taken that off, and then I fitted uh, an eccentricity gorge. So what this is doing is this little arm here, little white arm, uh, is attached to the this this gauge here, and it gives you uh, in microns how many how much movement there is on this. So if I it's now touching that disc. If I move this di the, the disc, as you can see. Let's see whether I can. There we go. Don't worry about the initial movement. It's that movement there. So you've got about a two micron movement, two to four micron movement on that disc as it's moving. So if I do that, there we go. Uh, it does move around. It's, it's very difficult to use these things uh, and get them accurate. Two, two to four, yeah. Now the specification is three. Um, so if I go the other way, it swings all over the place. Um, yeah, and that's basically because I'm in in the service manual, and I do have the service manual here. Um, uh, essentially, that uh, you you have to do it uh, so that the actual disc drags against it, not pushes. So, so if I turn that. There we go. As you can see, there we are. That's that's yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. What well, I, and I actually have loosened these screws up, and I've just given it a little nudge as well. Uh, I I did this video head ten years ago, just under ten years ago, um, and I I just wanted to check it. There was something in my brain which said maybe I was having a bad day or something. I don't know. Um, so yeah. So I'm just going to. Spin that disc. There we go. Thing is, is it, it it varies. It varies on the speed of how you do it. So you have to get that disc spinning consistently. So if I quickly speed up, there we go. It's it's about right. To be honest with you, that that's well within specifications. So yeah. Okay. So th these things are. I, I do have a couple of them. Um, I've got. Uh, let's just come zoom out. I've got another one here with all of the attachments and stuff like that. Um, and it is just a pain because you have to d dismantle quite a bit of the uh, loading mechanism here. To get to allow the um, uh, the arm to go in there for the um, the gauge. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. There's a screw somewhere. I need to find. <laughs> I've just missed it. Um, yeah, so it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I just wanted to check that everything was all right on it um, uh, because when it was playing, it was just something in me which said that didn't look right. Um, but yeah, that's as best as I'm going to be able to do with the tools. Um, yeah, you can also adjust this thing here uh, to 
try and zero it out. But as you can see, it's trying to get an accurate uh, rep frame of reference is difficult. What uh, I've learned over the years of doing this is, is not to worry about that, but look at the consistency of the... Let's just zoom in. There we go. The consistency of where the needle is as you're turning the disc smoothly. As you can say, it's pretty good. If that was out, it would be actually be uh, moving, moving back and forth like that. So when you first start out, it's like that, and you slowly have to nudge the disc, and then eventually torque the whole thing down. So, all right, let's uh, put this thing back together again, and let's see whether it plays. So it's back together again, um, and I'm playing a tape, and it's very jittery. It is very jittery. Um, all sorts of weird little um, uh, colour issues and stuff like that. Uh, it's almost as if it's the interlacing is not right, so mm, there's quite a bit of wobble in that picture. Yeah, it, it's there's there's quite a lot of wobble. If you see on lines and stuff like that, it's it's not how it should be. Um, it's very difficult to see when the when it's actually moving, but when it's stationary, you can see there that guttering was a bit wobbly. Um, not with this lost colour again. Okay. Yeah, it keeps on occasionally losing colour as well. So yeah, I'll, I'll keep on going with this. It's been I've had this thing for 10 years, um, so really it's just me trying to tweak and change it and do things, so, um, but yeah. Uh, let's see what that, there you are, you can see on the centre, on the word centre, yeah, it's just, just wobbly. Right, okay, well... That was just a quick attempt at uh, just double checking the eccentricity of the uh, the video drum, whether it's actually centred on the actual um, spindle itself, um, and it seems to be okay. It's within specifications, so um, let's look elsewhere. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.